So I'm changing things up for this week's book review. I am outside up at the pond area. It's one of my favorite places to come and read or to just sit and be in the quiet and kind of, it's kind of like a getaway in a way it feels like. Um, but this week's book review is a new one. I decided to kind of go out and of my comfort zone and get a new author and try a new author and this week's book is by Anika Walker is the name um, I hope I pronounced the first name right but it is called The Masked Baron and normally the Regency books that I read are Sarah and Meaden and Jennifer Moore and this is one that was a new um, I feel like a new genre of Regency for me. Um, there was a few times though that I did have to go back and listen and re-listen to a few things to get the gist of what was going on. Um, but I felt like the story was a mix of Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, and there's one more thing that it escaped my mind. I should have filmed this when I finished the story, but it escaped my mind. But the, f the reason I think it's the Beauty and the Beast is, well, first off, the storyline is about a girl who she feels like she needs... Oh my God, sorry, the bird just scared me. <laughs> um, she feels like she needs to get out and there's more to the world than the area that she lives in. And her and her father go and as they're traveling, they go through this enchanted um, forest and they go through the forest and I'm gonna call it the enchanted forest anyways they go through the forest and I know I'm getting the name of this forest wrong and I apologize um, I sh like I said I should have filmed this when I finished the book but they go through the forest and they get into a little bit of an accident and there's a rider that comes he's wearing a mask and he comes and saves them and she ends up living with him and her father leaves and tells her you can't contact me there's something going on and anyways the girl and the writer the masked writer is what he's called they learn to trust each other and they end up falling in love this one the reason I think it's Beauty and the Beast in there the some elements is because of the going through the forest and wanting more in life and having to live with a stranger in a sense and then the reason I think it's Cinderella is because she comes with nothing she, um, and he says I'm gonna take care of everything for you and do everything for you and she gets new dresses she gets to learn how to be a lady so in a way I feel like that's a Cinderella type of story and like there's a third one that I've said but I cannot think of it and it'll come to me as soon as I fin quit filming or publish this but for me trying a new author for this week I enjoyed the book like I said I did have to go back a few times and re-listen to some parts um, to figure out what was going on and there was at the end I thought that it was going to end at a certain point and I was like, no, you've been, I even said it out loud. I says, no, you better not have ended the story right here. And they didn't. There's a few more chapters. And I was like, oh, phew. Okay. And then, oh, you did end the story at a good spot. So, but anyways, I hope that this book review made sense. I feel like a lot of these book reviews are just awkward. Um, but anyways, I hope it made sense. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye, guys.